welcome to Paddle and Hike. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're going to do my top 10 hiking and backpacking movies. So in number 10, we're going to start with a movie called A Lonely Place to Die. It came out in 2011. It's 1 hour and 39 minutes long. It's rated R for action and adventure. The International Movie Database rated that movie at 6.2 out of 10. So the movie is about a group of hikers in Scotland that find a girl that was kidnapped and then they are pursued by the captors, obviously. So uh, it's a bit like a thriller, an adventure. Uh, they're getting in trouble. You can figure it out, like the punchlines and what's going to happen pretty much in advance, like a lot of movies. But it's still a good movie. I enjoyed it. Melissa George plays in this movie. It's not a perfect movie, but it's a good entertainment. So in number nine, we have The Ritual. It came out in 2017. It's one hour and 34 minutes long. It's rated mature. It's an horror mystery kind of movie, I would say. The International Movie Database rated this movie at 6.3 out of 10. So the story is about a group of old college friends that get together for a hiking trip in Northern Europe. And then they found they are in trouble and they are stalked by an evil presence. There is some spooky scenes. It's considered an horror movie. Uh, I could see them coming, but it's still a very good movie. If you like these kinds of movies, you will like this one. At number eight, we have 127 hours. This movie came out in 2010. It's one hour and 34 minutes long. It's rated R for adventure and drama. It was rated at 7.5 out of 10 on the International Movie Database. So the story is about a mountain climber that get trapped under a boulder while climbing in the canyon in Utah and has to resort to pretty drastic measure to come out of it. A lot of people knows about this movie which starring James Franco which actually is pretty good in his role. It's based on the true story of Aaron Ralston. It's a great movie. Uh, it has some pretty graphic scenes so uh, just be aware of that. Some part of a bit difficult to watch, but other than that, it's a good movie. Number seven, A Walk in the Woods. Came out in 2015. It's one hour and 44 minutes long. It's rated R for adventure and comedy. The International Movie Database rated that movie at 6.4 out of 10. So basically the story is about two old friends that decide to take on the Appalachian Trail and hike it all and well, they are pretty old and they, uh, there's a lot of funny scenes and struggles, but it's logical. It's D.A.T. But it's, it's a great movie. There's very nice scenes, a beautiful landscape. It has great actors in it, including Robert Redford and Nick Nolte. There are some longer parts in the movie. You know, there's a lot of blah blah and stuff, but it's still a really good movie. So the picture on the main cover was taken on McAfee Knob in Virginia. And I went there in January 2020. It's an amazing place. I really enjoyed it. Number six, The Way came out in 2010. It's two hours and three minutes long, so it's a pretty long movie. It's rated PG-13 for adventure, drama, and comedy. So the story is about after the death of his son, while hiking the El Camino de Santiago Trail, a father decides to take on this journey with a couple of uh, other people and hike it himself. There's some funny scenes in this movie. There's a lot of things. This the image and the landscape are amazing. There's so much beautiful scenes in this movie. Uh, it's a very emotional movie, kind of. You know, the, the bond between the father who lost his son. And there's a lot of things to think about. It brings you perspective. Uh, this movie has some longer parts, obviously. But just for the other scenes and the beauty of it, it's worth to watch. Number five, Meru. It came out in 2015. It's rated R. It's one hour and 30 minutes long. It was rated 7.7 .7 out of 10 on the International Movie Database. It's a documentary sports style. 
kind of movie. It's a bit different than the other ones. I include it in this top 10 because it has a lot of backpacking in it, but it's mostly a climbing movie. Just the scenes are amazing into it. So you're following the journey of three elite climbers that are climbing Mount Meru, one of the great Himalayan mountains. So you get stunning scenes, the landscape is just out of this world. Uh, you get an avalanche, you get a lot of you know different things. Uh, you follow their struggles because it's a hard environment, like big time. And you see them in pain and suffering and, and joy. You know, you feel it with them. The movie is amazing. If you like these kinds of movies, because it's a documentary, obviously. Uh, also, if you're scared of heights, you might not like this one. It's pretty high. <laughs> Number four, Tell It on the Mountain. It came out in 2013. It's two hours and two minutes long. It's not rated. The International Movie Database rated it at 8.7 out of 10. It's a documentary. So you're following the adventures of five hikers that are doing the PCT, the 2,663 miles long trail starting from the border of Mexico all the way up to Canada. So you get amazing views, amazing stories, you see their struggles and what they enjoy and what they don't. It's a great documentary. Number three, Wild. Came out in 2014. It's one hour and 55 minutes long. It's rated R. It's a biodrama adventure type movie. It was rated 7.1 on the International Movie Database. So the story is about after losing her mother and her marriage, Cheryl Strayed decides to hike alone the PCT. Well, some part of it at least. I won't say too much. And you're following her on her journey and her struggles towards the PCT. And there's some funny moments which aren't funny, but any hikers will find them funny because that's the reality. You know, you get pissed at stuff, you get in trouble. She was not a pro hikers when she did that, so it's based on a true story. Reese Witherspoon is doing an amazing job in this role. The scenes are amazing. You know, obviously a lot of landscape and reality that you face doing the PCT, for sure. Number two, Backcountry. It came out in 2014. It's one hour and 32 minutes long. It's rated R. It was rated at 6 out of 10 on the International Movie Database, which I don't understand because I found that movie pretty amazing. That's one of my favorite movies. So the story is about an urban couple that go camping in the woods, but they get lost in the territory of a very angry, angry black bear. And this is my worst fear. I hike all the time. You, know, you see my channels. This channel is about camping and backpacking and hiking. And the only thing I'm afraid of is what this movie is all about. This movie has some very graphic scenes, like some of the worst I've seen. This is terrifying. <laughs> if Do not watch this movie before going camping. Just a warning. Or don't show this movie to someone who's a bit afraid of camping and not sure if they want to do it because they won't. They completely won't go camping ever again in their life. It's starring Missy Peregrim, who's doing a great job in this movie. That's my number two. Number one, Mile, Mile and a Half. It came out in 2013. It's one hour and 27 minutes long. It's rated TV 14. The International Movie Database rated that movie at 7.3. So the story is about Five hikers that decides to hike the John Muir Trail, the 211 miles long trail that goes from Yosemite to Mount Whitney. So it's 25 days of adventure with amazing scenes. I really, really like that movie. It's all about true hiking and their struggles and what happens and you see what they're going through and you share their, what they're seeing actually. So it's pretty amazing and it makes us want to do this trail for sure. So feel free to comment below if you enjoyed some of these movies or have different ones that you want to share with us that might not be on the list. If you guys like that video, I might do a part two later on. 
So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching.